good morning everyone in today's class we are starting the next module of hydrology now come to the topic is hydrology what is hydrology hydrology is the science deals with the occurrence distribution and movement of the ground water and surface water next we talk about the what is hydrological cycle basically the hydrological cycle water cycle is the water cycle water occur in the atmosphere in the form of vapor on the surface as water like snow ice and blow the surface of water blow the surface as ground water occurring all the voids within the geological strata except for the deep ground water the total water supply of the earth is in constant circulation form earth to the atmosphere and back to the earth the earth water circulatory system is known as the hydrological cycle hydrological cycle is the process of transfer the moisture from the atmosphere to the earth in the form of precipitation and convey the precipitated water by the stream river and the lakes and etc the basically the hydrological cycle consists of following process first one in this first one is the evaporation and transpiration second one is the precipitation and third one is the runoff now we are discussing about the evaporation and transpiration the water from the surface of ocean uh ocean river lakes and also from the moist soils is evaporated the vapors is carried over the land by the air in the form of clouds and in the transpiration transpiration is the process of water being lost from the leaf of the plant hence the total evaporation is equals to consist of evaporation and plus transpiration there are following factor which is also affect the evaporation process surface evaporation water surface evaporation from river and from oceans evaporation from plants and leaves and atmospheric evaporation precipitation precipitation may defined as the next is the precipitation next component is of hydrological cycle is precipitation precipitation may be defined as the fall of moisture from the atmosphere to the earth surface in any form it may be in drizzle form rainfall form uh, like hail sleet and there may be so many form but we are further sub divided into two category first one is the liquid form and second one is the frozen form liquid form in india the major principal form of precipitation is the rainfall okay hence the liquid form is the rainfall and for, for frozen form like snow sleet hail and freezing rain these all type of frozen precipitation occur in a uh, uh, foreign country and like us britain and so many countries okay now come to the next is runoff basically the runoff is the portion of precipitation basically what is the runoff runoff is the portion of precipitation that is not evaporated and not infiltrated and remain on the earth surface okay so runoff is the portion of precipitation that is not evaporated okay when moisture fall to the earth surface as precipitation a part of evaporated from the water surface soil and vegetation and through the transpiration by the plant and the remember precipitation remainder precipitation is available as a runoff of which ultimately run to the ocean through the surface and subsurface stream and hence the runoff is classified into three category first one is the surface runoff second one is the interflow and subsurface flow and last one is the ground water flow and base flow now come to the discussing about surface runoff water flow over the land 
and is first to reach the stream or river which is ultimately discharge of water to the sea that is the form of surface runoff second one is the interfluence of surface runoff a portion of precipitation infiltration into the surface soil and and depending upon the geology of the basin runs as sub surface runoff and reaches the stream and the river okay that is interfluence of surface runoff and last one is the ground water and base flow ground water and base flow are the uh, same terms according to the hydrograph in that portion of precipitation which is infiltrate infiltration and percolate down and join the ground water reservoir which is ultimately connected to the ocean it's called the base flow hence this is prove that the precipitation is the sum of evaporation and runoff in the hydrological cycle provide adjacent made the moisture held to the storage and the beginning and at the end of the period that is the hydrological cycle i will explain you in the i will explain you okay like this is the hydrological cycle in this the cycle start from the evaporation from the ocean and the surface of moist soil and river and lakes water is evaporated evaporated and the from the plants the evaporation is called the transpiration process the water vapor lift up and formation of the cloud and these cloud at that same place and due to the effect of wind uh, move uh, forward and precipitate under the condition of condensation and after precipitation some part of it as a runoff and some part is converted into ground water flow that is the complete cycle of the complete cycle of the hydrology